I'm going to talk about things that you can do to reduce the damages and the hassle that you might experience after a strong hurricane. Sorry. To prevent and reduce the ordeal you go through from flooding, think about what is down at a potential flood level that could be damaged. Elevate whatever you can. There are things you can do with your existing shingles to make them more wind resistant. You can get some roofing cement that you can apply wet or dry and, and put some dabs under the first course of shingles along the edge and along the gable ends. And that is the most vulnerable part of your shingle and can help to reduce a lot of damage if you do that. If your roof has a number of years on it and is starting to be close to a time where it needs to be replaced, we highly encourage and want you to be aware that you can now have a hurricane hardy wind resistant roof. This model shows an example of it. You can get architectural shingles that are not like normal shingles, but they are wind tested and wind rated. These shingles are wind rated to 150 miles per hour, but they must be installed properly. There's a dedicated starter strip. You can't just turn the first shingle set upside down or trim them. You must use the manufacturer's starter strip. Usually it requires six nails per shingle in certain locations, and the shingle should go over a high performance underlayment. We highly recommend the synthetic type underlayments or the peel and stick membrane type because they're very, very tear resistant and very robust. So if you're going to upgrade to better shingles, also upgrade to a better underlayment. That's what keeps the water out of your roof. And for a secondary level of protection from moisture, consider taping the seams with a roofing approved um, adhesive tape so that if you do lose shingles or you do lose um, the membrane or the underlayment that you don't get water which causes a lot of damage. The second area to really pay attention to protect which is a common source of damage in your home are the soffits. Particularly if you have the, the vinyl or the metal soffits that just sit in a little channel and just loosely rest within a channel um, at the overhang of your roof. What's much better than that is to have soffits made out of structural material that are perforated to provide the soffit ventilation you need, but don't have an inset. So this is a fiber cement panel, very strong and structural, that would be fastened to the framing of your soffits. However, if you're not replacing your soffits or you don't have structural ones and you do have the type that are just resting, you can get um, adhesive sealants and stainless steel screws and actually fasten them and, and caulk and seal it to the framing so it's less likely to be sucked out or blown in and allow wind-driven rain into your attic, which can cause a great deal of damage. The third area to protect your home is to seal the penetrations through your walls or any place where wind-driven rain might enter. So getting a good polyurethane um, caulk and sealant or a silicone that is weatherproof and being sure that any entry points are well sealed and do that well ahead of the storm so it has plenty of time to cure. People are accustomed to boarding up with plywood or oriented strand board, but a much simpler and easier to install alternative to that are removable panels that are made out of a translucent lightweight polycarbonate material. You can see they're kind of corrugated, extremely lightweight, easy to install. Before the hurricane comes, just put them in place with wing nuts. So simple, just about anybody could do it and it allows light through, so you're not living in a cave. So there's a whole range of, of prices and alternatives to provide protection from flying debris during a high wind event. As hurricane season makes us look around our homes, we should also look around our landscapes and see what needs to be done to prepare our landscapes for the hurricane season and the possibility of high winds. 
high on that list is checking out your trees, particularly mature shade trees in your landscape. Look for trees that have decay in their trunk or large dead areas, trees that are dead altogether, or trees that have big dead branches. All of this needs to be taken care of well before a hurricane threatens our, our area. What you want to do is contact licensed arborists to evaluate the tree and recommend some work to be done on it. Make sure you use licensed arborists licensed by the Louisiana Department of Agriculture and Forestry. You can find a list of licensed arborists by parish on their website. You also want to secure loose objects in your landscape. Things like potted plants, hanging baskets, bird feeders, wind chimes, children's furniture and play areas, and patio furniture as well, all should be put away and secured well before the hurricane hits. And finally, look in your garage. Look at your pesticides like insecticides, fungicides, and fuel like gasoline. All of that should be in a secure location and put up high enough to where it won't be hit by floodwaters. Look around your landscape now and take care of these things before a hurricane threatens.